Hello and welcome back to our third installment. Uh, this is Camel Salt Middle School Design Technology, and this is our third installment of the Boss Laser tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing uh, bitmap tracing and the offset polygon tool. Now, this tutorial is only going to be useful to you if you are going to be manipulating the image that you have imported. Uh, if you have something on your screen already that looks like this, and your speed and your power have been set to the 300 speed and the 30 power for all settings, then you're ready to go. But if you want to take it a step further, here's what we're going to do. So let's talk about this image. Okay, I'm going to delete my words. I'm going to take this image. I'm going to put it right in the middle of my screen so it's a little bigger so we can all work on it together. Now, what I have right now is a JPEG image which is represented by pixels. Okay, if you zoom in here, picture this engraving or this image as essentially being horizontal rows back and forth of pixels that are either turned on or off. Now, for the sake of this picture, let's assume that everything inside of the unicorn is turned on and everything outside the unicorn is turned off. Okay, so that's pixel art. That's a JPEG. Okay, what I want to do though is instead of having this completely filled in, I want an outline. I want the silhouette, the outline of the unicorn, and I want to work with that. So what I can do is I can click on the unicorn here, and I can come up in this tool at the very top called BMP, bitmap. Okay. I can do that. What I'm going to do, once I have my little preview window here, I want my set output resolution. I'm just going to set this to 500. Some of you may have numbers that come out at 70. Some of you may come out at 900. Let's all go to 500. Okay, and then apply that to the source. Okay, now you're going to click this button called Get Outline. Give it a second to think. Now you'll notice what happens. All these white boxes show up around the perimeter of your unicorn here, or tree, or snowflake, or whatever it is that you're working with. These white boxes are called nodes. Okay, we have now essentially traced a line around the perimeter of our shape. And lines in graphic design are indicated um, by a start and a finish point, and those points are called nodes. Anytime a line changes angle, other than going straight, there's a node involved. So you can see, when we set our output resolution quite high to 500, we get a pretty good detail of the curve of our unicorn. You know, thousands of nodes showing up here. Click OK. Now what we're going to do is the outline is hiding behind this unicorn. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to select it again. I'm going to drag the original away, and you'll see I have an outline waiting for me right here. Before I do anything, I want to click the preview button and just make sure that they look the same. Okay, sometimes what happens is when you do a bitmap trace of the original object, it doesn't create a closed line. And if that's the case, you're not going to get a good engraving out of it. So you want to do this first. This looks fine to me, so I'm going to close this. I'm going to take my original object and get rid of it. Okay. Now I'm working with this one. Now if you zoom in, you can see that when I select it, I actually have to click the line itself. Now when I do that, you'll see that the whole unicorn is glowing, except for this line right here, Okay. which is OK. What I want to do is I want to copy this line. Now, for sake of uh, previewing it. Let's just have a look. Right now it looks exactly the same, right? I want to introduce you to a new tool called the Offset Polygon tool that's going to allow us to engrave a uh, profile, a silhouette of this unicorn instead of the whole thing. So I'm going to select my perimeter line here. I'm going to come up to my tool called the Offset Polygon tool, which is this one right here. I, I don't know how to describe this shape other than it's the fifth button in <laughs> from the right. I'm going to click that and you're going to get a little menu here. So it says offset X number of millimeters and do you want them in or out? So what this is asking you is, okay, I'm going to make another outline for you. Do you want it inside or outside of the original? So I want mine out and I want it offset by just a millimeter. So just experiment with that and press OK. So now I have these two lines mimicking each other. Now what's interesting is what happens in the preview when we look at it. Now check that out. Okay, so what those lines are thinking is, okay, we want to engrave everything that's between us right here. 
So we can get fairly complicated with this tool in a hurry. Um, this is a great tool as well if we're working with different materials that we actually want to cut the shape of the unicorn out. We can tell one of these lines to be a cut line rather than a scan line. And um, we can do some pretty amazing things. Check the preview one more time. Now again, this is a tool for you to experiment with. Okay, That's about as far as I want to take you down um, using that tool. But bitmap trace and offset polygon are great tools to use, and that is how to use them.